bastard may well be dead if not for you. She's right. I'll be forever in your debt, dearest brother. Now be quiet. Just... just rest. Hello everyone! I'm Dragon Wub and welcome back to Skyrim! In this episode, we're going to continue where we left off and uh, we're going to find out why Cicero went cuckoo, bonkers, loony bins, whatever, and uh, find out why he stabbed uh, Vizara. Or Vizara. Vizara. Alright. Astrid. That twisted jester will pay for what he's done. Did something set Cicero off? No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well... If I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. Uh... To go this far. To attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary. Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Isn't there any way to work this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? <laughs> In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. Okay. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is pays me. I believed in Cicero, but he's betrayed us all. Oh, she's got stuff for sale. So what you're you interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes. You have stuff. Yes. Let me see. What do you have? Extended visibility, potion of healing. Ooh, I might actually buy that. I don't know. I might save my money. She's got ingredients, too. Nice. I didn't know she sold that kind of stuff. Go. Do what has to be done. Indeed. Boy, did you miss all the excitement. Any thoughts on the current situation? Alright, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe Cicero coming here wasn't the best thing that could have happened. But even I didn't anticipate this. Well, you know the old saying, when life gives you lemons, Go murder a clown. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, go make a lemon meringue pie. Mm. Yes. Burn that little Chester alive. Uh, okay. Nazir. Should have figured the little lunatic would completely snap. Any thoughts on the current situation? Going after Cicero now would be a fool's errand. That little jester is currently being digested in Arnbjorn's stomach. Mark my words. No idea what you just said. Go on now. What about Babette? In Cicero, Any thoughts on the current the situation? Cicero destroyed any sympathy I may have had for him when he wounded Vizara. Kill the fool and be done with it. Oh, okay. Well, do what has to be done. Bizarre. It only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> oh. Any thoughts on the current situation? Yes, do not underestimate Cicero. A man like that, small and foolish, is easy to mock. To underestimate. Don't make the same mistake I did. Okay. Kill well and often. Let's go talk to the Night Mother. See what she's got to say. Oh, read the journal.
I guess they wanted me to take it. Night mother, what do you say? Alright. Sleep well, night mother. Sleep well. Have you found something? Yes. Cicero's journal. Good. Good. Does it say where he may be headed? Yes, an abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. I have the pair of uh, passphrase. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. Goody, 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 goody. We get Shadowmere. Yay! Shadowmere! Shadowmere! Awesome. We're gonna get Shadowmere. That's that's this most this is the most favoritest my most favoritest horse in all of Skyrim. Hi Shadowmere. Yes. Hi. He's the most invincible, invincible, uh, he, <laughs> he's an invincible horse, basically, as long as you don't hit it. Uh, but of course, the, the, there's a bug, or there's many bugs around Shadowmere, but, uh, but we got Shadowmere. It's awesome. Let's fast travel to Dawnstar. It's weird how, like, Cicero would be on foot, and he made it all the way to the Dawnstar Sanctuary. No problem. Normally, this type of travel would probably take, what, three, four, five days? Something like that? I don't know. I would have to test that theory out. Oh, what's attacking me? Oh. A dragon. Lovely. You stay here, Shadowmere. You be... You be... You be you, okay? Oh, don't shake your head at me. You just... There you go. You be the li sweet little... <gasps> sweet little horse that he is. Alright. <clears throat> I'm Bjorn. Should have figured Astrid would send you. You hurt? Oh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Where's Cicero now? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. I know the phrase, I'll get Cicero, you go home. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. A little thought cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Roger that. Roger that. What is life's greatest illusion? Innocence. I just guessed that. Life's greatest illusion? Innocence, my brother. 
I probably should read Cicero's journal to find the passphrase um, for the other door. So let's let's do that. Let's see. Read. Uh, I've written this letter so polite, so official to Astrid and Skyrim. Her sanctuary still stands, still operates, but how? No listener means no black sacrament. No black sacrament means no contacts. Her family abandoned the old ways and still survives, still kill, but it's still, uh, but it is that family still, uh, but is that family still brotherhood, uh, or something else, uh, let's just move along. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The silence of the void, it reaches across time and space. Uh, let's see. Mother and keeper must go, and I am uh, I am not the listener, and never will be. But I am the keeper. I must serve my mother, and uh, and will above my own. I must find her listener. I must teach Astrid the error of her ways, the beauty and necessity of the old ways. I have sent this letter to Astrid. We will we leave soon, but Cicero will keep this sanctuary as his sanctuary. A place to rest and ply, uh, ply my trade for I own more. Take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him. When laughter strikes his fit, my way. Oh, he's just rhyming away. Maybe I can wing it. Maybe I can wing it. I'm just gonna read me some books, but we uh, we just did pick up a set of Jester's armor. Uh, let's see, Jester's boots wear is muffled and moves silently. Has no armor, but uh, it's pretty good. Prices are twelve percent better, and damage with one-handed weapons is twelve percent better. That's good. Double damage sneak attacks with one-handed weapons. Ooh, I should probably wear these when I'm uh, going around. And sneaking is 30% better with the hat. Ooh. So, yeah, that's that's the thing. What, what boots am I wearing? I'm currently not wearing any boots, it looks like. No, I'm wearing the wear is muffled and moves silently. I got the level the the light armor ones. Okay, no big deal, no big deal. All right, let's go check this. There's usually some you know really good books here. Cause once you, I think once you leave this place, I don't think you can come back. So. You know, missing something. I mean, granted, these books are probably scattered around, you know, Skyrim. Otherwise, but that that Jester's armor that was there, that's a that's a once in once in a lifetime get. So, let me save. Always remember to save. Whoops, saving is a good thing. Saving is a good thing. Whoops. Oh, I need to I need to change I need to change my magics. I forgot that I had uh, the sword. Oh, you get him, Lydia. You'll be all right, sister.
That's why you saved, because I accidentally just hit Lydia and she burned to death. Yeah. That that just that that's a thing. That just happened. So yeah, I'm glad I saved. I'm glad I saved. Lydia, you still alive? Yeah, there she is. Pretty little Lydia. Uh, and I can also change to my firebolt now. There we go. I'll take the dwarven sword. Don't mind me. That's madness! I think Cicero has lost his marbles. Wait, you can't lose what you never had. Yay, look, found an archery book. Nice. Oh, hello. You can't kill what's already... Ah. Uh. I think he was gonna say you can't kill what's already dead, but yeah, well, we just did. We'd lost legends, we've already got all that. You're still alive. Yes. I need candlelight, please. You want me to slow down, huh? You can't kill what's already dead, but they... I do the final blow and they're just like, oh. <laughs> Silly billies. Or is bored from the other side. Chili. Uh, deer hide, and I'll eat the venison. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, and I'll eat the large antlers, too. You'll enjoy this. Not an original part of the sanctuary, per se. Let's call it up. Cicero has gone completely mad. But as I've said before, he probably was already mad. Hello. Trolls don't like fire. And I'm a fire mage. Yep. Right. So Cicero attacked that Marlin Astrid. What was it? Fold a new when his mother is. Sorry, I keep uh, interrupting him.
troll fat. Take all. Poor deer. Poor deer. Ooh, there's a chest. 13 gold. Nice. Ooh, scrolls. I can sell these. Just in case you couldn't fight the, the troll, they give you scrolls of fireball. Nice. <laughs> nice. But, you know, like we said before, it's just a matter of... Uh, just a matter of the fact that we are a fire mage or, or primary we are a mage in sort in turn and our main source of damage is fire well wow, it's getting really really bloody Some of these coffins are empty. Some of these coffins are not. It's just up to you to find out which ones are and which ones aren't. Like this one right here. Uh, I don't need skulls. No thanks. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh. If you stop summoning all these guardians, we might talk. She was mad. I, I swear to you, Lydia is, is a mad person. She might be even <laughs> madder than Cicero. She's banging heads against other things but she you know she's really she's really what she is when she could bang her head up against a ghost and the ghost just like nope that's it ooh it's a master chest I have 45 lock picks I'm gonna try So close. Yeah, found that spot. Elven Maze, 240 gold, three lock picks. I'll take it all. And let's get some candlelight in here, please. Too bad I can't get, like, permanent candlelight. That would be... Well, no, maybe not permanent candlelight. Something I can turn off and on.
Uh, I don't know you'll be doing any much good, Sister. You're you're on the ground, dude. You caught me. I surrender. <laughs> there is only one cure for your madness, Sister. Me. Uh, remain silent. To listen, eh? Of course, of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked this trumpet pastor, and I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother. Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. Alright, so that's going to be the ultimate conclusion there. Should I kill Cicero or should I let him live? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, but I am going to leave this episode here because that is, that is a crossroads that, uh, yeah, just a, just a massive crossroads. So tell me what you think down in the comments below. Should Cicero live? Should I let him live or should I kill him? Uh, tell me, tell me down in the comments and tell me why. I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later.